Hey, this is Horner, and we're looking at the circuits review packet, and we're looking at question number one, free response number one. So we have an ideal battery, which means that it uh, behaves ideally and doesn't have any resistance. It's connected to light bulbs A, B, and C, uh, as shown in the circuit diagram. And the resistances of A, B, and C are A has the biggest resistance, followed by B, followed by C. So they want us to go through, and the first thing to do is to rank the currents through the three resistors. Uh, the current, since this one is in series, it gets the full current. So that one is obviously the biggest. This one, they both have the same voltage, uh, but this resistance is smaller. And so because of that, we get a bigger current. So smaller resistance, if you think about water flowing through pipes, if it has a smaller resistance, you can get more water through it. So that is how we know that that one is the next biggest. And then finally, this one has the highest resistance, smallest pipe, so you can't get as much water flowing through. Um, and so then that one will be letter B. Uh, a gets full current, B and C uh, share current, and they have the same voltage since I is equal to V over R. C has a greater current than B because the R is bigger, sorry, smaller for C and bigger than for B. So that's your explanation. Uh, they want us to rank the potential differences across the three resistors. So just what is the voltage? We know that this one's going to get uh, part of that voltage. And then these two get the same. And because of the loop rule, this one, uh, because it has such a high uh, this one has such a uh, big resistance, it's going to uh, have more of that voltage or that potential. And then remember, in parallel, these two are going to be the same. So uh, if you weren't sure about this, but you were sure about that, this you're going to get points for. That you're probably not. Uh, a has the largest and... Uh, uh, yeah, A has the largest uh, potential. Um, B uh, has the biggest voltage. Okay, uh, It also has the largest resistance. B and C are in parallel, so they have the same voltage, but it is less than A. They want us to rank the brightness of the bulb. So here we can just, since we've got, kind of know what the uh, current and the voltage is in each one, A has the largest current and voltage, and therefore it is the brightest, followed by B, because B has a small I. Um, and so it is the smallest, and then C is going to be in the middle. And that is the end of this very quick and simple electricity problem.